So we're at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. We're going to do an ultrasound on a female cheetah, Mikena. She's a hand-raised cat, which is why we can do this. Mikena's history: she is a five year. She's five years old. This was a litter of four sisters that their mother, their, her mother, would not take care of them. We were forced to hand raise. Uh, we have hand raised. We we tried to hand raise in such a way that they would know their cheetahs because the, the ultimate goal for these four was to breed. Being that she's a hand-raised cat, we, I'm one of the original people that have hand-raised her her whole life. So I know we have a very strong bond and I know how much that I can get away with with her, if you will. She's very used to me being with her and touching her anywhere, So which is why we have fostered this her, her entire life. Building to this moment of hopefully she would be pregnant and we could do this. The importance of the ultrasound is because we weren't sure if it had been done before and Again, given the bond that we have, we want to try it. Hi. <laughs> it's still me. It's tricky enough to get a female cheetah pregnant. Often the hormones indicate that they're pregnant and it might not carry through. They might end up with no cubs at the end. Are they absorbing it, reabsorbing it, or is there a pseudo-pregnancy going on? So the idea of the ultrasound is one, would she allow it? Number two, if she does, we're gonna be able to see roughly how many cubs are in there. We can confirm two fetuses are in there. It is, it is challenging to confirm more than that. I have seen them move and spin. I have seen one kick. Last week, we actually saw the heartbeats. We saw two heartbeats, which was awesome. Um, and that the vet was saying that that's as, as the fetuses are developing more, that's why we can now, now see the heartbeats.